Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Hello YouTube, you crazy people Thank you very much for clicking on this video Coming back to the channel Well, today it's just me and the lovely wife Out for a bit of a bimble on Big Bertha Thought we'd give you a bit of a update on how we're getting on with her I've only just picked her back up today as she's had uh, a lovely set of new tyres Bridgestone BT23s and uh, like my mate Dave had her, he was good enough to give her an oil change filter change the fluids in the drive shaft and uh, check the right pads for me as you can see my ABS light's back on I've got to do the the magic reset to get rid of that when we stop but uh, i got to say yeah, she feels lovely on the old new boots or the new new boot so we thought we'd go out for a bimble we're going to find a nice place to have some lunch since it's a beautiful day probably the warmest day this year more than anything it was to uh, test her two up I've uh, not got the little man with me today purely because I just wanted to make sure the suspension uh, which does need a little bit of tweaking for two up as it's a little soft so uh, definitely need to add a little bit more preload and uh, over that sorts out the uh, wishy-washy squidginess so I've sprayed the top box which ended up costing me as much as what the top box cost me <laughs> but it matches now it's quite a good match went down and got the pannier scanned and they gave me a 98% match for the paint considering it was a rattle can job quite uh, quite pleased with the result it, uh, there's nothing wrong with it blue but it just for me looks nice now it's all the same colour uh, a few days ago I did my first ever podcast with the mighty teapot one I was a little bit nervous but i got to say I really did enjoy it he's a lovely bloke so I think that comes out next week so keep your your eyes and ears peeled for that I don't think I'll be listening I'm, I'm number 80 and I've listened to all 79 of his previous podcasts but I don't think I'll be listening to number 80 I don't think I could bear listen to myself dribbling on for three hours but uh, if you think you could enjoy that then uh, definitely go over and have a listen to the teapots uh, podcast that we did uh, Thursday it was Thursday night and, uh, even though I'd come off a early shift I start work at 2 o'clock in the morning and uh, my wife says to me she says for God's sake don't fall asleep but uh, I managed to stay awake I had a couple of cans of Budweiser which is uh, every night for me to be fair I feel quite tipsy at the end of it he's a very easy man to talk to as I say, he's one of my YouTube gods, so for me, I was a bit starry-eyed. It was uh, it was quite an honour to be asked. And uh, we talked about everything from my test riding career to Buddy and how we got there. And Hopefully, uh, it gives all you listeners a good listen. But thank you very much to the people on the social media that put their questions forward. That's always much appreciated. Oh, I do love this bike. It's a big old green sexy machine. Still got to come up with a better place to put that camera. I've got a new phone mount to go on. Just not sure where I'm going to put it yet. And that uh, will pretty much be my sat nav for the whole trip. I bought a few other bits and bobs to dress her up because obviously she is a superhero bike. Still not going to let you know what superheroes that uh, we've decided to be. That will be in another video coming very soon, I would think, as the date for the uh, charity ride is uh, creeping ever closer, which uh, I must say I'm getting quite excited for now. So yeah, like I say, we're doing a bit of a two-up test today. He's getting out for a ride on a see how she handles two up and the next one will be two up with Buddy that bag is quite a big bag if you've uh, 
seen the pictures on uh, the social media. I put it on the bike and I'm like, wow, this bag's big. So I then need to test it with the two of us and Buddy just to see how the bag um, and all three of us fit on. So out of the uh, four riders that I know that have definitely confirmed to do this whole charity trip, three of us have got pans. So at least uh, if it comes to it we can make one decent one out of the three to make it finish the 2,600 plus miles. That's for sure. We get our head to the finish line if anything else. And then the works, he's opted for a Tiger 995, which for, he's found quite a few problems with. But with his skill set, he is definitely the man that can. That's for sure. What a beautiful day. A taster of what's to come with a lovely summer, we hope. Plenty of adventures, adventures to be had. So yeah, the next uh, the next time we, we we get out on Big Bertha, I'll be with the little man as well. And then after that, I would like to get at least another one where there's all three of us and all the kit that we're going to be taking, so we could do a fully loaded. Um, representation of how this bike feels. So we get to grips with uh, what it feels like fully loaded. That's for sure. I mean, to be fair, you could tow a caravan with this bike, but it will be nice to get a day before the charity ride so we know, or I know, how it handles, how she feels, how she copes with it. What the the fuel consumption is, considering that's going to be a big key factor now. That's for sure. She definitely got plenty of poke when you need it for a 21 year old bike. She certainly does go well enough. So yeah, the last week or so has been quite eventful. We're doing the podcast and uh, what else have we had to do to the... Oh, I had to buy a new battery I blew the battery up somehow. So that was uh, another expense. So, so far the list is she's had a new battery, new set of tyres, new set of plugs, fresh fluids, a new bag looks, tank cover so I can fit the buddy pod on, buddy pod 3 which uh, originally I managed to get for 110 quid and I thought oh, that's a bargain, most of about 160 and then uh, the company emailed me and said oh, I'm ever so sorry we thought we had it in stock but uh, we've had to order it from the factory and it doesn't look like we're going to get it till May <laughs> and I'm like no. Uh, I'll have a refund please so they were quite good they refunded that straight away and uh, I had to buy the 159 I think it was free postage I say it arrived I mean it's bloody massive but um, I have managed to fit my drone and camera gear in the bottom of it and then a nice doggy mattress on top uh, it fits him lovely. He keeps uh, he keeps sleeping in it at the minute as if it's a bed. But uh, all that says to me is that he actually likes it, and he'll be quite happy in it. He'll be sulking today. He didn't look very happy when we were both putting our bike kit on. So if so, what about me? And, uh, he got back in his bed with the girls and hid himself under his blanket and that was it. So uh, no doubt he'll have the mards on him for a day or so now. He ain't been out for a couple of weeks. Well I think I just uh, haven't had time with work. It's been quite uh, quite demanding the last couple of months. 
same on normal start time. So I've, uh, I'm back in the lorry at the moment. I did uh, I did do a month on uh, an electric motorcycle. I gotta say, I absolutely loved it. Some cracking, uh, well-designed little bike. And uh, so I did a month for them. It was quite hard then getting back into the lorries. As uh, my true passion and love is definitely motorcycles. But what the electric bike made me realise was that uh, I'm not the petrol head that I thought I was. I'm actually a two-wheeled addict. As long as I'm not the engine, it's all good. He does pick up quick for an old girl. I say old girl. Big, busty, sexy 21-year-old. Oh, it's a lovely and warm day today. I've just got a mesh jacket on. A pair of jeans. Ironically, they're Harley Davidson jeans. They always make me smile when I put these jeans on. And I got uh, given these on the 2016 Thruxton press launch. Because the drive ones never turned up. So at the last minute, they had to go out for the riders and try and buy whatever they could get their hands on. Unfortunately, Harley Davidson was the only dealership that sold the jeans that we required. So we were told to remove the labels, hide everything with uh, belts, there was a logo on the stitched in. And don't let the press see that they're Harley Davidson jeans, <laughs> which I don't think any of them did cotton on. But uh, I've got to say, they have a lovely pair of jeans. Got to say, and was much better with a lovely set of new tyres. Amazing what a new set of tyres can do for a bike. He stole my camera. <laughs> I was only trying to take a big drummer. She bloody stole it. You all right? Happy? Comfy? See? No? No? Show her. Well, welcome back. We had a nice lunch. Uh, Mackey D's. So we're just doing a bit of a loop round and then we'll be heading home. I've got a night shift to do tonight. Oh the joys, living the dream. But the wife did say that uh, she gives it 10 out of 10 for comfort and protection, wind protection. So she says she'll be rather happy. Uh, sit on the back for the duration of this charity ride. It's good to see the uh, Just Giving page amount is uh, creeping up now. Just want to get that as high as we can and raise as much money for such a worthy charity. If you haven't done already, go and have a look. <laughs> Click on the link below. And uh, even if it's just a pound, a pound is a pound. And uh, every penny goes a long, long way. Beautiful little village this is. Sutton Bassett. So yeah, go and have a look at uh, our Ed's channel. He's the man that's uh, orchestrated this whole charity ride that started it all off. And uh, when you click on the link, it will take you to his Just Giving page. And uh, give us as much support as you possibly can. Much appreciated. Ah, beautiful little church. And 
wife says to me, how come uh, you haven't bought Buddy today? Sometimes it's not that I'm complaining, it's just but uh, how come you've uh, left him at home and bought me out? I says, well, I just wanted to test it two up. Make sure it's safe before we put him on it. <laughs> Amazing how many beautiful places we have on our doorstep, that's for sure. So, thank you very much for clicking on this video today. If you haven't done so already, you give us a subscribe and a like, show us a bit of love, and you'll be able to follow our progress for any future videos. And uh, you'll definitely be able to follow the charity bike ride. So I will be uh, documenting that all the way. Like I say, thank you to the subscribers I've got. Uh, you're absolute stars for sticking with us. Like I say, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll keep you updated. And we'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe. There's a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights